What's up YouTube modeling community? Uh, it's Caleb with Big Guy Model Works. I'd like to welcome you back again. Uh, got a little update on the the uh, fire truck here. Um, nothing real special but after about two weeks in the 91% alcohol we are pretty much all the way back down to a little bit of primer lift and mostly back down to the bare plastic. Uh, this was my first time ever stripping a body. Um, I don't know if I expected it to be quicker or um, easier or, or, or what, but it is. It, it was a headache. Um, wasn't really sure how to how to strip the duplicolor off. Um, asked for some some help in a couple of different places and the uh, general consistent consensus was to use the 91 percent alcohol let it soak scrub it with an old toothbrush that did not work um it was about a week and a half it sat there and i basically just had little little dots of paint coming off um nothing you know no big sheets no chunks no you know nothing was getting gooey or anything like that um scrubbed it at least once a day with this um and just wasn't happy with the results so finally i figured out that i could take the back of my fingernail and slightly rub it and the paint would chip off um it wasn't really affecting the primer too much, but the, the actual paint would come off. So I set out on a mission to find some sort of harder surface brush, I guess you could say, stiffer bristles. Um, and came across these at Walmart. Get this one out of the way. In the paint section. Um... They were all three in a little three pack. I think it was about three bucks. Uh, this one is actually nylon. It's pretty stiff. Not not much stiffer than the toothbrush, but still it was decent. I actually didn't use this one on the fire truck, but I'm sure I can find something else to use it for. Then we have this one, which is brass. You know. Um, most of what's been done on this was done with this brass brush, uh, simply because I figured maybe it wouldn't, um, scratch the plastic or get down into the plastic. Um, and, and most of it came off pretty good with this. Um, took me about two days to get it from the last time you guys saw it to, to what I have now. And then came with this steel brush. Uh, I was a little reluctant on using this one because I thought it, maybe it would be a little too coarse and get down into plastic and scratch the plastic and I was I was kind of wanting to avoid that. But the places that the brass brush didn't seem to, to get most of the paint off, I swapped to this one and just really, really lightly scrubbed. And that, that it seemed to work. So now what I'm left with is getting a little closer here. See if you can see some of this. If the camera will focus. Some of these places actually have brush marks in the primer. Um, most of that seems to have happened on this body rather than the cab. Come on. Um, feels kind of rough, but it would have took me another week or so, probably, of scrubbing to get the primer completely off of it because apparently the 91% alcohol doesn't work real good on um, plastic coat primer. It did get the the duplicolor paint off, but it, it didn't seem to have had very much of an effect with this plastic coat primer most, most of what you see gone is spots where the brass brush didn't get quite all of the 
the white paint off and I've I lightly scrubbed with the um, the steel brush but there it is um, I've got to find my sandpaper uh, had a nice little collection of you know a few different grits 800, 1000, 1500, 2000 um, several sheets of each and that seems to have disappeared I don't know maybe I misplaced it when we moved or or what but uh, I'm gonna hit the body with probably some 800 grit just to kind of smooth down some of the some of the rough edges from where the primer still there and and the brush marks and such and then go back over the whole thing again with the plastic coat primer um, I did get the the chassis all cleaned up from from where it was stored um, there's a couple little spots I need to re-hit with some primer on it I think I was actually in the process of priming this and getting it ready to go when I realized the the body was turning pink so I just kind of stopped um, so that's that's you know maybe one more hit with some some primer on this and it, it'll be ready to go uh, don't know when I'm going to be able to shoot any primer uh, if you're paying attention to the news you know the the east coast has been kind of hit with a snow and ice storm the last or well, over the weekend um, and I live in South Carolina so we got I won't say we got a lot where I live personally but uh we did get some snow and some ice and it lasted you know Friday until mm, there's a little bit left this morning but still pretty cold um, too cold to go outside and shoot paint with a rattle can um, oh and in the process of stripping the body I don't really know what happened but if you look this side's got a nice little grab handle on it to get in the the jump seat in the back there and this side does it it broke off somewhere somehow um, I may have actually broken it off while I was trying to scrub this side of the the cab because these you know it's, it's pretty flimsy and I was trying not to actually crack the cab um, but I'm just gonna get some sandpaper and smooth down the little nubs where it was and and probably cut this one off so so they match um, no biggie but uh that's pretty much it guys just wanted to give you a little update of where I was at now and uh y'all uh hope y'all are staying warm and and dry if you're if you're involved in this this winter storm here um that's that's about it guys i appreciate you watching and y'all have a good one